Sure, mechanics might be the problem for 10% of you watching, but I think 90% of people stuck in champ could get grand champ simply with better game sense. So today I coached two mechanical champs on the biggest decision mistakes holding them back that I guarantee it will come up in your games as well. If you want the fastest way to improve, make these swaps and I promise you'll rank up faster than 90% of people out there. If you're new here, my name's Luke and I'm known as a top 0.1% coach and for running Rocket League's number one live coaching program called the Grand Champ Roadmap. Inside, we take gold through champ ranked players like you up to Grand Champ in just six weeks or less. If you didn't catch it, we just restocked 100 seats last week for upcoming 14th launch. But since I made the announcement, I've already received over 100 DMs from people wanting in. So if you want to get involved before we sell out and go on pause until May, DM me on Discord with the keyword me, and we can talk details on how it works. I'll have my Discord first link down below, and let's get into the games. Well, yeah, very nice here. I love this. Um, this is really good. A lot of people, after they get zero boost, they go back immediately. And this is a great job of sticking upfield, moving into, you know, the super position like we talked about and staying as relevant as possible. Especially like when you when you get that 2v1 immediately off kickoff, you want to be there to follow up. So good job getting upfield quickly. Everything was good up until this point. You're going under the ball. You realize here... After you move up and grab corner boost, I like you rushing back immediately. Once you drive under this ball, we got to realize that this guy's here. And I think you do. So you turn back immediately, which is good. But if you want to stay on this ball, you, you either have to go for it immediately or turn back immediately. If this guy puts a shot on net, you probably could have got scored on there. So if this ball gets hit up, you either have to go for it now or turn back and turn ball cam on. I would usually opt to just go back. Once I once I don't go here, just be careful about that. So back, you're saying go back post? Yeah, not necessarily even all the way back post, but either you jump up and tip this ball now once your teammate loses it, or you start to move back to shadow and you turn on ball cam and you kind of see. If he goes for a shot, then yes, you continue to move back post, but I would just try to get into this lane on your way to back post and potentially have to slow down and shadow if he catches this ball. It really depends. But we can't sit under it like that because our vision is just so much worse than his. Can't be sideways under the ball. Once this guy hits this ball into the corner, you guys are rotating back. You're in a one-on-one -on -one defensively. You should say, great, he hit the ball into my corner. Let me control this ball, get it to the corner, get it to somewhere safe and control the boost. Driving away from him here and letting him have ball. One, it gives away your corner boost, but two, it puts you front post and front post is never ideal roughly speaking we either we either want to go go for the ball in the corner or be rotating back post in general my rule is like if there's ever a kickoff and the ball wh whoever's side the ball goes towards unless it's dead 50 you just respect if if he gets the ball here he has low boost he can't like make a controlled dribble on you here he has to hit this ball hard forward so it's probably best to just turn in shadow in those situations and it would save you a goal yeah, so the minute you see him miss here, that should be your cue to instantly push up and try to hit this ball high and awkward and get it up the field as fast as possible. Maybe hit it on the wall, recover. This becomes a 2v1. So I want to see, even if your touch isn't perfect, I want to see your car accelerating into this ball and trying to push the play up the field quickly. Going for a center here makes a lot of sense. All this looks good. Until, what <laughs> rule did we violate here? I didn't rotate away from the ball. Exactly. Well, hey, I, it's totally normal. I think you're trying to get back once you realize he's beat. But the thing to understand here is this ball is not going to instantly go in your net. It's very far away. You have a guy defending. He's going to have an opportunity to make an attack. Instead of going like this, you want to move across the middle of the field along these pads. One, it'll prevent double commits like this. But even if you did continue to rotate back along the path that you just had, you would have zero boost when you got back, right? If you move along that, that pad, you're coming behind your teammate, you're with 48 boost, and you have the option to continue moving to back post or push back in and help him out. Whereas here, your same side, your your cover your coverage overlaps. And it's just awkward overall. Yeah. This looks good. Ooh. This is something we got to comment on. And luckily it works out. What am I going to say here? This is a very common situation. I jumping too early? <laughs> Absolutely. Well, look where you're jumping, bro. You're jumping here and the ball is right here, right? You could jump here and score this ball. You could go like this and hit it. One, it uses tons of boost. Two, it's slower. And three, it commits you on this line. If he gets any touch left, right, up, down, you can't score it. Whereas if you're grounded and he makes a touch to the left, you just go score, <laughs> right? 
the best time to take off is the latest possible time that you can still make your shot. When we get the opportunity to take the ball to our corner, let's always do it. Yes, we could try to cut this ball upfield. Yes, we can try to make beats here, but- Very risky otherwise. Exactly. But even here, like with the with this play, you jump, you end up jumping and flipping into this ball and hitting it here. We don't even need to jump into this ball. This can be just a, a soft touch and then a follow up. Flipping in the direction of the corner is a big no, no. We never want to do this because the ball will always come back middle and you have to do exactly what you just did there, which is, you know, try to recover, try to come back. Never works well. So right here, this ball goes by, turn off ball cam, line yourself up here and then turn it back on right now. But instead we're kind of flipping through, we're going for corner boost. And truth be told, if your teammate doesn't save here, you're off grabbing boost while there's a shot on net. And yes, teammates in position. What was the mistake here on orange team? Can I quiz you? Whose fault was it? Uh, oh, it's the Fennec guy. <laughs> yeah, if he just waits here back post, this guy challenges, it gets put behind him, he saves it. But because he's pushing up and not just sticking back, they get scored on. Love this even, this this play was great up until this point, but no need to jump here, never never jump here. We never wanna be forcing challenges like this in, in our opponent's corner. Our teammates respawning back corner, that it's a 2v1, so you can drive up here, but this is a just drive challenge and turn back all day. You were never committing here, never committing in this situation. Here once again, if you flip to the right, maybe you can get a dunk there. Most times in these situations, like I'm trying to hit this ball around this guy as he's mm -hmm. falling down, not even try to take a 50. All right, so this is this is another great teaching moment. So we hit the ball here and we go to turn around. Before we make a decision on where we want to flip, how do we know where we want to rotate? Step one, look at where the ball is. Here, <laughs> we have no clue where the ball is. And your movement is to flip and go to your back corner. Before we even do that, in general, what I want to see is I want to see you rotating along these pads. And so like you could pick up this boost, that's fine. But generally, I want to see you turn ball cam on here and then flip and go back if you need to. But here, we don't even know if the ball's going on net. So let's not be so quick to flip back if we don't even know if the ball's coming. Watch the play, pick up boost, and then if we need to, we flip back. I don't want the first move to be the flip because then you're moving back like this and oh, my teammate wins the 50. Now I have to move back up and I miss a pad because of it. After your teammate does get the beat, what do we generally want to do when we see somebody positioned like this on the opposing team sitting back on their goal line? When you get possession with this much space, if we can, we want to control this ball. Slow play it as much as possible, yeah. I don't mind you booming it off the back wall. It's definitely easier for you to read than it is for him, but best case here is control, control that ball all day. And yeah, the only thing I'm going to, I'm going to continue to reiterate for you, man. Like when we have this ball here, yes, we can boom it, but he is so far back. If you want to maybe make a pass here to your teammate, you can, but even then I would rather move this ball up the field more and then potentially go for a pass rather than go for the hard touch here. Even here, this is, this is a situation where if you have everybody beat here, it's totally okay to go for this ball. Once we are on the front post, this is kind of past the point of no return. Here, we're not going to be able to save a shot. So anytime you're not in the super position, I want you guys thinking like, I have two options. The minute I get to this front post, I am either going for the ball or I'm rotating back to the super position. There's no such thing as I'm going to drive forward, but I'm not going to go. You're either going or you're looping back here. So like here, this ball gets hit up. The fact that we're in this position means we have to go for this ball because we're not in a good position to make a save once they do go for shots, right? Luckily, we're going to be okay. 